Hi, this is Romit Tube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, for our very first time, we're at Emerald Coast, Australia. The map everyone's been wanting for many years, and we're finally here. Now, we're going to be doing things a bit differently. Today, I'm making a saltwater crocodile guide for you all to help you out. So, it's going to be a long video. We're just going to hunt them naturally. You're going to see mistakes. You're going to see whatever happens, just unedited. That's how it's going to happen. I thought we'd do it different this time. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, what I found up to yet with saltwater crocodiles is they basically rest all day. They're in a few locations, so they're not hard to find. We'll have a look at the map. So here we are. This is Emerald Coast. As you can see, there's different biomes. And the saltwater crocodiles, no surprise, are in sort of saltwater sort of areas and mangroves. Basically, they're down the right hand side where all the shoreline is and where the inner sort of swamps, mangroves go inland. We'll go over this in great detail. We've got a lot to cover in this video. I'm going to be looking at the new multi mounts. We're going to be looking at Mississippi and what the alligators are like now as well. So we're going to be covering quite a lot of things. But these mangroves here, you find them in this area along the shoreline and then. As you go up the shoreline, there's another set of mangroves up this top area. It's really fun, casual, really simple, and we're going to do it right now. And I'm going to show you how it works and what they're like. We're going to look at the aggression of the alligators, see what we can find, look at the weights or the habitats. But as you can see, I've been very busy unlocking the map, finding all the need zones. I have got all the need zones for every animal. So don't worry, I've got you covered on all the species. All the need zone times, we're going to be doing that over the next few videos. I was thinking, what do people want the most when there's a new map out? And it's guides. So that's what I've decided to do this time. We're just going to do guides for all the animals first, and then we'll do other things afterwards. So, as you can see, these saltwater crocs, they rest all day. They start from 4am in the morning, and they literally rest most of the day till like 8 at night. From what I found may rest even later but they're always resting they're not hard to find as you can see at these rest zones they're quite common you can see them every like 100 meters in these locations i'm showing you also on their aggression they are super aggressive and you may get attacked by multiple saltwater crocodiles in certain locations because in the mangroves there is loads of them there is on the shoreline as well so you might be like Trying to kill one as another one's attacking you. It's really fun, it is. I also got attacked on an ATV early. <laughs> so they just really don't care, but it's a lot of fun. As for where to shoot them, there's a few locations where to shoot these. Um, you can shoot them in the brain. You can shoot them like in the jaw, the neck. It's really up to you, the lungs. Just experiment with it. I'm reusing the 308 and the 7mm Malma. You can use other guns, use whatever you like, but they're the ones I'm going to try today. But as you can see, it's very busy in these mangrove swamp areas. Up this top right area is absolutely full of animals, as you can see by the need zones. All the different species are up here, and we'll go over that as we explore the map. The map is very varied in topography, so many different biomes and it's really well done how they've done this it's a proper hunter's map also i'll share this with you now drinking need zone times for most of the animals in this map aren't really the best times to hunt them and we'll go with that in guides so it's gonna be definitely a more of a hunter map than just visit locations at drink time so which is quite refreshing actually so this is where i'm going to start i'm going to walk down to the shore we'll explore the mangroves then we'll carry on up the beach and see what we can find. But I've got some brilliant things to show you and I can't wait to show you in a minute. But that's where we're gonna be hunting. Let's go to the codex because this is very useful, right? All the species are in here for all the animals and you will learn about all the new species as well. That's at Emerald Coast, for example. So here you go, saltwater crocodile tells you it's class seven. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this they weren't sure whether it's going to be a class 9, well, they're class 7. As said, just use whatever rifle, weapon you're going to use, class 7. As you can see, it tells you where the habitat is, 
where they are, what they kind of do. They are solitary and their weight is a thousand kilo. That's what they go up to apparently. I haven't seen any bigger than that, so that's the kind of weight. We can see how long they are, 6.5 meters. That's another thing, right? We will be comparing alligators versus saltwater crocodiles. Lengthwise, the models, we're gonna look at that as well. So lots to cover. Active during night, dusk and dawn. As said, they mainly just rest wherever their rest zones are and they're quite easy to locate. You'll have lots of fun. And they are very aggressive, as I keep saying. Whenever you walk near him, you'll hear him hissing. And it's quite funny. When you're in the mangroves, because all the mangroves are around you and you can't see really good, you hear a hiss from one angle, hiss from another, and then you hear something in the water. It's really fun. <laughs> you don't know where one's going to come from next. They can come out of the sea when you're walking down the sea. It's a lot of fun. Right. Let's get hunting them for the first time then. Here we go. Now these are the mangroves, as you can see. You can see all the roots. They're really well done. They've really made a great sort of example of what they should look like. And all you do is you just walk around these mangroves and wait for hisses. Look for rest need zones, which are easy to find. You never know. They can be in the water. They can be on the bank. There we go. There's one. <laughs> They're always moving about. Now, I might mess some of the shots up, we'll see. It all depends because sometimes you get attacked by multiple saltwater crocs. And there's no shortage of them. These will be a good money earner, actually. If you just grind these, you will get your money up. It'd be nice to see if we can find a diamond, but it's not about trophy animals today or in the guides. It's more about locations and how to find them. So you can go out when you're on Emerald Coast Australia and go get whatever you need to get. Let me know in the comments what guides you want making. Don't worry, I'll be doing saltwater crocs, bantengs, kangaroo guides, you name it, I've got them in the works. I'm going to be very busy and it's very hot at the minute. Sweltering in a minute, 30 degrees. Right. Now if you shoot them, you can get them just as on the top of the water. If they go down like this, you can't shoot them. Also, if you hit them with a vital, one second, <laughs> get back. <laughs> well, if you shoot them and get a vital before they go in the water, like the alligators, they'll drop down, but as the health goes down, what will happen is, we'll show you this in a minute, they'll pop up to the water and then come back. So just make sure you get a vital on them. But they will stay on the bottom, but they will come back out. But don't worry, we'll find plenty of them. There's males and females. The males are the biggest ones. Right, I'm just looking at zones. Some of these waters are shallow and you can cross and some are quite deep. You also find magpie geese. We'll be doing a guide on those. They are in the mangroves as well. That's where you mainly find them, where the saltwater crocodiles are. But the thing with that is you've got to find the right location because if a magpie goose comes down or a flock of them and there's saltwater crocs about the crocs will spook them so they won't land he wants a bit of ron <laughs> i tried to i tried to brain shot him he wasn't the biggie but as you'll see he'll go in uh hide for a bit now the malma if you get it right is really good one technique I've been trying is when they're on the beach and they've got the mouths open, you can shoot right in the middle of the mouths and you can kill him with one shot to get it right. It takes a bit of practice. Once we've warmed up, we'll probably be able to do it. I'm just starting hunting for the first time today. So I'm a bit rusty at the minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> There's plenty of saltwater crocodiles to go at. They're not no big trophies. But what do you think of these mangroves? If you're from Australia, does it look as you'd expect? The mangroves, let me know in the comments. It's really important. I want to know your feedback. It's, I know it's a big deal for you. You've been wanting Australia, along with other people, but especially people who are from Australia, really wanted Australia for a long time. So it's a really big deal for the community. It's nice to get it. It is stunning. It's really stunning. And it doesn't look all the same. There's so many different biomes on the map, which you will see. There's a rest zone, for example. 
They go up to legendary. That's what you're looking for if you're looking for a diamond. So. Oh, what's this? You can get rare varieties as well. I don't know exactly what rare varieties there is. But hopefully we'll find that out. I know you can get Lucy sticks. Maybe it's the same as the alligator rares. We'll find that out as we go along. There's some magpie geese. But yeah, you're going to have to have a special sort of technique for where you hunt magpie geese. Because as you can see, they fly over the mangroves and they actually land in the mangroves and the water around it. But the saltwater crocodiles rest here literally all day. So if you set up, you basically have decoys. We'll go over this in the guide and a water blind. They'll circle down, come down like other geese. But... Like I say, if a saltwater crocodile is in the location, and as you can see, there's many of them, it will spook them when they get to about halfway down and they'll fly off. So you've either got to kill the crocodiles in the area where you got your magpie goose set up. I've been experimenting with driving an ATV round for a little bit to spook them in the area. I've also been experimenting with putting a tent down constantly, just picking it up, putting it down and using that to spook them. I have got a few magpie geese and one of the multi mats which I'll show you is to do with saltwater crocs and a magpie goose. So we're going to have a look at that later on. I haven't actually seen that myself yet so I know we need to get a male magpie goose and a male saltwater croc. When it's like that you can actually shoot them but it's not really worth risking. As you've seen it's just dived down and they'll sit there for a while. But you can get them on top if you do it and get an accurate shot, but it's a bit risky. I wouldn't do it on a trophy one or a rear. But as you see, there's no shortage of saltwater crocs. And this is just in one mangrove. When you get on the beach, it's crazy. They're all the way from the bottom all the way to the top of the map on the shoreline. This might be a good magpie goose place but there is a lot of saltwater crocs basically what you want to get is somewhere near a mangrove area for your magpie set up where there's the least amount of saltwater crocs or big gaps between the need zones as i was saying you can hear the hiss you know they're there but you can't always see them are they in the water are they on land <laughs> you get a rough identification of where they may be but Sometimes you just don't see them, and then next minute you look behind you and there's one snapping at you. Alright, let's see if we can get this one. It's a female, level one. No, got in the water too quick. But it's really nice, I do like how they've done this. To me, this feels like I'm in a mangrove, I'm in the area where it should be, it looks like I. I think it should look, you know what I mean? Normally I'd like double tap them with a 308. I'm shooting like... Well, that, that is a vital, so it will die. So what will happen now, he's going to dive in the water, and I'll show you what I was talking about. He's going to dive to the bottom, wait, and then basically once his health runs out, he's just going to pop to the top and float back in. So don't worry if you get a vital on him and they go in the water because you will get him. What are you most excited in seeing or hunting at Emerald Coast Australia? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hunt Banteng next. I found some things out about Banteng which I didn't know and it's really amazing. And uh, hopefully I can show you in the guide banteng guide will be next after this one but yeah i found all the locations for where banteng are as i was saying they're not really a drink zone animal and quite a few other animals at australia emerald coast on either but they're not hard to find because of that all right let me just collect this here it goes it'll be interesting to compare the length and size of a saltwater croc compared to an alligator from say Mississippi. But there you go. This one's 790 kilo. That's what a diamond. What you need for the score. 1015. As we know from what Jaxi said. In the live stream for Expansive Worlds. The alligators. 
at Mississippi have been made aggressive as well. So we will be going there just to check that out. So I want to know if they are aggressive, if they're the same as these, because that will transform Mississippi as well, because a lot of people do like haunting them. But the bit of aggression really adds to the gameplay. Keeps you on your toes. You don't, you're looking everywhere where they're coming from. So it'll be interesting to see how they are. Also compare the sizes. That's one of the main things. I've had a few people in comments saying, I bet they've just reskinned alligators or crocs and just made them bigger or they're the same size on the trophy mats we're gonna have a look at all that later on in the video i will be doing longer videos for these because i've got a bit of extra time the team have worked their asses off and they've got the content creator weekend an extra we've got basically like a week and we normally only have a few days so that really helps with making content so that means i'll be making longer videos than normal which is nice to say so where do we go next we can go up the beach or we can go to the top mangroves we've just been to the mangroves so um uh, yeah we'll go along the beach we'll show you there see that balloon in that splash screen there is actually a balloon there's a hot air balloon that flies across the map it looks brilliant i wish you could ride in it it's a nice little touch we may see it I don't know the exact times when it's at or if it's random, but I've seen it a few times now. It, it was a bit odd at first. I'm like, what? What's that? <laughs> and there's a giant hot air balloon just drifting over the sky. Right. This area is really good for banting, actually. We might see some as we're walking down to the coast. Is that one there? I heard something pop up. But yeah, you see a lot of banting in this area on the right. I actually seen the balloon here last time when I was walking down here. There's a lot of variety. But if you're watching Debs, I'd like to be able to get in that hot air balloon and fly about. I could happily spend hours just travelling around the map looking at it, <laughs> flying about. Right, that's where we want to be. Should really get a tent out an ATV. We won't really spook him that much. Get us down to the action. I did this the other day. I drove down on my ATV and I was like minimized and um, minimized back up. And a shot water croc was attacking me on the ATV. <laughs> also, there was another one where I was minimized and I was tr just chatting to someone and we had a message. Here's some banteng. We just spooked them. And um, I was minimized, but I was like in the mangroves, like prone. And as I come back up, there's a croc's mouth was right where my face was. I wish I'd have been recording. It was so funny. It made me jump out. <laughs> Imagine, like, you come back, minimise, and then there's a, a crocodile's mouth right in your face. It was funny. But, yeah, I've had him attack me on ATVs. So, they don't mess about. Right. Here we go. So, here we are. Down at the shoreline. Wait till you see how many saltwater crocodiles there is. There's absolutely loads of them. This is going to be a good money earner. And it's really simple because all you need to do is start at the bottom, walk up, go through the mangroves and just carry on walking up the shoreline. Make loads of money and hopefully get loads of trophies at one point. Hey, oh, Bantengs are on there. Right, well we might get a good look at some Bantengs then for the first time. About the Bantengs, you've got the females, they're normally sort of slightly orange, but the darker Bantengs are normally the males, that's how you tell them apart. There's normally more females in the group and then a couple of males, as you'll probably see. Now what are these doing? I don't know if the saltwater crocs are aggroing them. But what I will tell you is, Bantengs are aggressive as well, so we might actually see something funny. Oh, they're actually trying to attack. They're trying to attack the saltwater crocodile. <laughs> I weren't sure if they would do it, but look, you can see that one's doing it. One of the males is attacking the saltwater croc. That's so cool to catch. I've been told they're aggressive, they will attack a player, but I didn't know they'd attack crocodiles. So maybe they're like water buffaloes, look that one's like, come on, 
so the females attack and the males what my plan is is to get the same level of a saltwater croc and an alligator so we can compare the size so imagine like a level seven and a level seven and then we're going to compare them at the trophy lodge but we've got quite a few bantengs quite a few saltwater crocodiles they're still going for him it's like some are spooked and then some are aggressive with it i've never seen this myself before this is the first time so this is cool to see the croc's trying to get away he's like there's too many of these can't deal with them all but when they've got the mouth open like that you can actually shoot them and kill them in one shot if you do it right i'll try and show you if i can but you can always just lung them go for the neck he's off he's had enough female's still like come here look at the look on the face <laughs> he's in the scene it's like nope i'm coming for you she's really had enough of him <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Come in for me, it's not me. <laughs> so as you can see, they're very aggressive. Let's see him... Nah, he's just, he's just shut his mouth now. You can brain shot them when they've got their heads down as well. Get back in the sea. Leave me alone a minute, I'm filming. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can actually do this right. But yeah, that's brilliant to see the band things. What's that? Come on, give me a monster or a rear or something. I think now they've done this, they should add a great one. Um, either alligator or saltwater crocodile. Or do both at the same time. It would work really well for saltwater crocodiles. Especially where they're located. That's one thing about the great ones. If you make it so it's fun to hunt, that's why the great one fallow deer, the grind begins for them soon. I cannot wait. It's going to be one of the most popular great ones to hunt because literally everyone can hunt them. It's not hard to set up a grind. I'm going to have a guide for that. I'm making a guide for fallow deer hunting at Emerald Coast as well. I'm on that. I'm also doing a red deer guide for emerald coast so i'm very busy at the minute <laughs> multiple guides at the go at once but as you can see it's absolutely stunning here and it's so diverse i've just seen a fraction of it what would you like to be the next great one let me know in the comments i think the next great one will probably be a wild boar i really think that's going to be the next great one it makes the most sense to me they do normally do the base game animals first for the great one but at some point they've got to do other animals so let me know in the comments which you want next for the next great one let's take a picture of that it looks really good doesn't it very detailed i love the uh the scales on it the detail the colors looks very realistic just looking behind me you never know it can come out to sea behind you at anything at any time you've got to be on your guard so level five interesting to see if like a level nine is bigger than a level one as well i think they will scale but that's where we got it but yeah this imagine if you just walk up here and keep doing this every day you'll soon get a lot of cash they pay quite well and they're not really that hard to get. It just takes a little bit of getting these shots right. You're going to bodge some up, but there's that many of them. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, take your time on a trophy one, though. Make sure you get that shot right. But this is what they look like. And as I said, we will be comparing them with alligators soon. And this is what I'm talking about. You're in the harvest screen and then he creeps up behind you. <laughs> and he's going to kill you. <laughs> so you've got to be ready. Now revolvers might work really well, but that's what I was trying to show you. Look, if you can do that, straight down. We had shot him in the intestines as well. But if you shoot him in the brain, bongo, straight down. 
But they go to a thousand kilos. I haven't seen a legendary yet, but that's what they go up to. So it'll be interesting to see when we get one of those what they actually do weigh. But they it says they go up to a thousand kilos. He's dead. Right. I'm just making sure he's dead. <laughs> he's not just in the shallow water. I think he is kaput. Right, let's have a walk up here, see what else we can get. I want to get a really nice one, and then we'll jump over to Mississippi and have a look at the alligators. A lot of people have asked about that and to compare it and see if they're aggressive, so I thought we'll do it with the saltwater croc guide. Got seven there. But it's been a lot of fun. The ruse of admin stitches, they are vicious as well. They have no problem when coming up to you and punching your lights out. And it's really it's really weird the first time they do it. But once you get used to it, it that gets you on edge as well. So it's quite an interesting place, Australia. Got a few dangerous animals, a few animals that like to attack. Let's just go over locations again and need zone times. Now they rest from 4 in the morning till 8 at night. So you've got literally all day to hunt them, as you've seen. Really simple. So choose when you want to go. Start from this location. Walk right to the shoreline, walk up the shore, through the mangroves, as shown. Really simple. They stop about here, where the sort of mangrove area, swamp area stops, and then it splits into rivers. Then walk up the other side of the mangrove, then up the coast, up to the top mangroves. And you've got an outpost there. So you can just jump straight into the action, because there's outposts right where they are. So you didn't even need tents here, which is also good as well. Nice and simple. I have made a detailed image which I'll put in as well. And uh, I'll attach that to the video as well. So you can download it if you want to keep it just in case. But it's not really hard to work out once you know where they are. I hope that helps. So here we are. I've just found a mythical. So what I'm going to try and do is get the mythical. Oh, I'll move out of the way you. I want the other one. Oh, he's shielding him. Yeah, we got him, I think. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get this mythical, because I wanted a big one, basically, to compare the sizes. And then we're going to try and get a mythical at Mississippi. And then we'll compare them side by side. I would have liked to do a diamond with a diamond, but if they scale as I think they may do, it doesn't really matter. So, let's see if there's anything else here. Sometimes when they're on a sort of angle, it's quite hard to spot them. Just letting you know. Look at those clouds. That looks absolutely stunning. With the water, the setting. Sun's out. It sun's out here and all. I'm dreading middle of summer. It's getting near now. It's like 30 here, so like 90, 92 at the minute. Fahrenheit. So it's not really very comfortable, but we've got some 40 degree plus coming, I think. With no aircon, that is a thing. <laughs> That's not nice at all. Right, here we go. What's that one? That's a dark brown. Mythical 949. That's its score. And that's nine, well, 950 kilo, roughly. So, big boy. Nice clean shot on him. And we're going to taxidermize this one. I haven't got much money. Because I'm on a beater. So it's basically like we're playing a new game. I've got a few bets, but not all my money and stuff. So uh, not simple to do everything as I want. Right. Let's head over to Mississippi Acres. Let's find that alligator. Are they aggressive? We'll soon see. Now, I haven't been here since Mississippi came out. The main reason I like Mississippi is because of the alligators. So it's nice to come back. It'll be interesting to see if they are aggressive. I've just seen a couple, but they run off. Now the saltwater crocs do that as well. Some of them will run. A lot will be aggressive and attack you. It just depends what they feel like doing. Right, warning call. What's this one? Right, come on. Are you going to attack or are you going to flee? Flee or attack. We'll soon see. Where are you? You're here somewhere. 
a bit different to hello <gasps> yes they are aggressive but you should not sit there with your mouth open that's just cost you your life <laughs> right let's collect this what's this it is a mythical <laughs> that, that saved me a lot <laughs> but there you go but as you can see it's literally half the weight of a saltwater crocodile so now it'll be interesting to see if the size scales with both of them which is what we're going to look at now at Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge. All right, let's go with Tzatziki Safari Trophy Lodge. Will the saltwater crocodiles be bigger than the alligators? Tune in next week. Now, we're going to have a look at them now. <laughs> right, here we go. So, I mounted them on these middle mounts. And we're going to have a look. Are they bigger? Are the models bigger? Are they different? We'll soon see. Here we go. Both are mythicals, which I've just shot, which you've just seen. There's the alligator. Now, on these mounts, the alligator, their tail will just touch the other side of the wood, and their nose will just go over the other side, as you can see. That's the length of an alligator. You can get the size there to gauge it. Now, we're going to have a look at the saltwater crocodile and see what size that's like. See, see the tail? Just touches the wood and the nose just just about goes over. Right. Let's have a look at the saltwater croc. And you can tell straight away that is bigger. There's the mythical. So both mythicals. But that is definitely longer and bigger than the alligator. The saltwater crocodiles are bigger. And it scales. You can see, look. That's why they've had to put them in this pose, because they're too long to go just like the same position. That's why they've gone diagonally. And it's still hanging over just, look, you can see the tail. If that was straight, it'd be like a foot either side over each way. So he's definitely bigger. Look, that's what they're like width-wise and size. Look at the alligator. And you can definitely tell that's smaller. So they have scaled it, which is good. A lot of people did want to know about this. So I'm happy to show you. And the feet, you can tell they're a lot bigger than the alligator. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove him. And you might be thinking, why are you removing him? Well, the reason is because we're going to make a new multi-mount. There's two new multi-mounts in this update. The first one we're going to look at is the Lucky Crocodile. It's an XL size, common. You need two animals. You need a saltwater crocodile and a magpie goose. So I can't wait to see what this is like 3,900 that's what you need in money I've just about got enough for it <laughs> but we're gonna make that now and have a look at it the other multi man is a kangaroo one which we'll look at in a minute so let's make this and then we'll mount it I've just been and got some magpie geese I found a few locations where I can get them it's still quite tricky because the saltwater crocs, as I said, spook them. And they're there all day, literally. And um, it'll be interesting to see which sort of um, technique works the best. But this is the other one, the second multi-man. Roomba. And you need two male kangaroos. And it looks like they're boxing. We'll do that when we do the kangaroo guide. Which will be in one of the next few videos so here we go let's have a look at some of the poses what they look like let's see which is going to be my favorite i can see this being very popular people love magpie geese especially people from classic because a lot of people hunt there like me uh, we love it at Pickabean bay so this is going to be a really good addition oh i love that one well done devs some great trophy poses but that is one of my favorites i think when i've got a diamond or a rare saltwater croc with a diamond magpie goose or a rare one that is what i'll be making in that sort of pose there is some other good ones as well though but they are in the same location so it makes sense how rare are magpie geese in australia have you actually hunted them if you're from there he looks like he's a second away from being eaten. <laughs> That's a good one as well. 
The old nailed the Magpie geese. They look really fantastic. I can see a lot of people from Classic will be loving to see this. There's some great trophy poses. That's a good one. Look at that. It's just darting in between. This multi mount is going to be very popular. But yeah, we're going to have to get a diamond or rare of each. And make that up, I think. When we get on live. My saves from here don't carry over. So I'm not going to be going for a great one yet. <laughs> but that will be happening as soon as it goes live. That's for sure. But I've enjoyed hunting today for saltwater crocodiles for the first time. Making this guide. It's been a lot of fun. I think that's my favourite of the trophy posers of this new multi man. So I'm Ron Tube when making a saltwater crocodile guide for Emerald Coast Australia. We've been playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope you enjoyed the video. Get ready for the next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.